Hi everyone, this is Stefan from Random Design and this is our backup operator, a matrix scene PC that we built in cooperation with Warner Brothers, Nvidia and Digital Storm for the movie The Matrix Resurrections. Our aim with the backup operator was to fit the interior design of the Nebuchadnezzar and create a piece of equipment that could actually exist on that ship. We incorporated different designs like the monitors with the digital rain, the keyboard to hack into the matrix and of course the data probe to jack into the matrix. So have fun watching how we built this PC. I started with making a 3D model and added lots of details to achieve an overall matrix-like look. As a base, I got the Eventum X case from our partner Digital Store. I removed some parts that I wouldn't need, cut in some new openings and modified the overall shape of the case. Next, I built a new shell from plywood. All panels were cut, glued and screwed together. The screws were all sunk into the wood, so it will be easy to cover them up with filler later on. I trimmed the overall shape with a router and cut in all openings required. I decided to make the middle section of the case a bit more narrow to give it a more interesting shape. After sanding, I covered up all screws and bigger gaps with wood filler and then I hit the entire surface with multiple layers of spray filler and colored the case with several layers of gesso that perfectly covered all the remaining wooden structure. The whole case was weathered using mainly brown and black tones to achieve an overall aged look. To make the PC look like it is from the Matrix universe, I designed different detail parts and printed them in PLA on my Zinto 3D Vox 1 and 2X. After printing, all parts were sanded before the assembly. To get rid of the remaining printing layer lines, I covered everything with spray filler before spray painting them. To achieve a used metal-like look, I dabbed on thin layers of bronze and silver acrylic colors. To light up some of the connectors that will sit on top, I resin printed small rings, made a silicon mold and casted them in green tinted clear resin. I soldered SMDs to a small ring that will illuminate the resin casted inserts from behind. I also 3D printed some more parts like the Digital Storm logo that lights up on the side. For the monitors I designed custom covers that were also printed. After spray painting all covers were weathered to give them an aged look. Next. I designed and 3D printed all pieces for the iconic data probe. After sanding, all pieces were assembled and glued together. I spray painted it black and then dabbed on thin layers of silver acrylic paint to achieve a used and worn look. For the backup operator, I was going for an industrial-like look. That's why I wanted some parts to look like they are made out of real metal, just like this fan cover. To create them, I used a cold cast technique with resin and real aluminum powder. For mold making, I used Mold Star 30 from SmoothOn. After mixing part A and B, I degassed everything for a few minutes in a vacuum chamber. Then I put the silicon over my template and put it into the pressure pot for curing to get rid of all the small air bubbles that might be still in the silicon. 
because I wanted the fan covers and plugs to look like they are made of metal, I cold casted them using aluminum powder. After curing, the parts just looked grey, but polishing them with some steel wool really brought out the shiny metal look. For weathering, I applied brown metal wax, which I wiped off after about 60 minutes. I added another layer of black wax, which gave everything even more depth. The covers were attached to the radiator fans, sitting on the side of the case. I also used the cold cast technique to make different metal-like plugs. I first made a silicon mold and then applied aluminum powder to the mold itself. For the resin I used again Smoothcast 305, which I colored black by adding a couple of drops of Smooth On So Strong. Then I added aluminum powder to the resin and mixed everything well. After curing, the parts were polished to reveal the shiny metal look, which was darkened afterwards by adding several layers of brown and black wax. I also reassembled the name plaque of the original Nebuchadnezzar. It was resin printed and then also used to make a mold and cold cast. After polishing and some weathering, the aged plaque was attached to the case. Finally, I also resin casted thin aluminum profiles that were screwed to the case to cover some edges. After building all the details, I assembled everything. I added some final highlights and then worked on the hardware and water cooling. As a reference to the Matrix movie, we used the new design of the iconic White Rabbit, plotted it on vinyl and carefully dabbed it onto the front of the case. Using the original Nebuchadnezzar font, we also plotted the name tag for our backup operator that was attached to a sign made from acrylic glass. To achieve an overall industrial-like look, I used extruded aluminum profiles to make mountings for the keyboards and radiators. Everything was then screwed to the wooden shell. I also added some more details, like metal-like profiles, that I also cold cast and weathered afterwards. Next, I attached all the monitors and used also aluminum profiles to make adjustable mountings for the ones on the side. I added several tubes, plugs and cables to make everything look like it is all connected and cross-wired. Then it was time to combine the outer shell with the inner case structure. Time to work on the inside. I cut a new bottom plate from acrylic glass and covered it with a custom made design that we plotted on black vinyl. Inside we have the ROG Maximus Crosshair motherboard with the Ryzen 9 processor cooled by this acrylic block from EK Waterblocks. The PC comes with 1TB of M.2 storage, 32GB of G-Skill Trident Z memory and a 1200W power supply from EVGA. The GeForce RTX 3080 Ti graphics card also was adjusted for the liquid cooling system using the Quantum Vector Water Block by EK Waterblocks. I made all visible tubes from 16mm acrylic pipes and then filled the system with the acid green liquid from EK Waterblocks. blocks. 
So, that's it. Our backup operator is now functional and ready to enter the matrix. Thanks again to Warner Brothers, Nvidia GeForce and Digital Storm for this awesome collaboration. Big thanks also to Zinto and EK Waterblocks for supporting this project. I hope you liked the video and see you next time. Bye bye! If you liked the video, just check out some more of our making-offs and subscribe to stay tuned for upcoming projects.